hello everyone you are welcome to my channel today i share how to make bitter leaf soup this is how we do it in cross river and in a quiet boom and it as good as our afang soup is absolutely delicious so let's get into work and see how this is done first of all you need some bitter leaves you need water leaves you need goat meat or any other person of your choice i used heck fish and stock fish i used pomo I used yellow and red habanero pepper and some onion. I used crayfish. I used seasoning cubes and salt. And I used some palm oil and of course water. First of all, I washed this water leaf very well. I washed it for about three times to completely remove the sand and dirt. And then I cut it and I cooked the stock fish till it softened before adding the goat's meat and the pomo and then i seasoned with salt pepper seasoning cubes and some onion i gave that a good mix and then i covered it to cook till the meat was softened where i came in to add the stock fish i didn't want my fish to break that's why i didn't add it earlier and then i added the finely cut water leaves to make this soup you need 95 percent of water leaves and just five percent of beta leaves at the end of this video i'm going to show you how i processed that beta leaf so i covered it to cook for about two minutes after it boils i came in to add crayfish and I'm, I'm adding oil you can reduce your oil if you don't like lots of oil okay but then here i added lots of oil and um and don't worry by the time we add beta leaf you'll see that the oil will be completely gone so i I'm going to cover this to cook for another one minute and then I came in to add the bitter leaves. Look at that. This soup came out so yummy. Now, because of the salt content of the bitter leaf that you'll be using to wash the bitter leaf, you don't need to add much salt. Here I use just the salt that I use to season my meat and the salt content of the bitter leaves. So, it, it, the salt doesn't have to overpower your food yeah so you need to be conscious of that at this point this soup is almost ready guys and it was super yummy you can eat this with any swallow of your choice now i'm going to show you how i process these bitter leaves cut it like you see in this video and um afterwards i'm going to Cut it and pound. Let me know where you're watching me from in the comment section so I can give a shout out in my next video. Today's shout out goes to Ebele Precious watching from Abuja, Nigeria. Precious, I'm glad you love the recipes. Thank you so much. All right. Um, let me also know if you have any questions at all. I'll be so glad to respond to your questions because I'd like you to prepare this bowl of deliciousness and have it in your freezer, serve your family and your friends, and they will love you for it. All right, so I'm cutting the bitter leaf and then I'm using this mortar to pound it. If you blend, it's going to be too smooth, so you may not like the consistency. If you pound it in a matter of a few minutes and it is ready, it's not something that takes time, okay? So don't be afraid that you have to use mortar. <laughs> right. Okay, so after pounding, I packed it and, and washing it with salt and hot water. The salt I used at first was really hot, but later I added a little cold water so I could tolerate it because I had to squeeze it with my hands. So look at that. I'm squeezing it out right now. And I repeated this process for about five times because I didn't want um, it to be bitter, even though it's bitter lip. So I just love the flavor. This soup is super yummy. You really need to try it. So I squeezed out the bitter leaves from the water i used hot water just the first time i washed but subsequently i get to use cold water so you don't need to use all uh, hot water all through so i squeezed it out and then i'm straining the, the the other parts the remaining parts and i'm repeating this process i pour into that bowl and repeat that process still the bitterness is completely gone if you like a little bit of bitterness you can wash it like three times but for me i wash it up to five times and believe me i'm saying it again that this soup is delicious 
is as good as afang soup. Let me know if you'll be trying this. Let me know in the comment section, okay? And even after you've tried it, come back and testify of the Lord's goodness. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.